Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just really give you a good uplift and a good vibe, you know, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. It will be greatly appreciated. And um, if you're coming in with any kind of negative vibrations, any um, evil intent or whatever the place, any kind of evil eye on me, baby, is coming right back on to you a million times for divinely guided, heavily loved, and extremely protected. Get that. <laughs> so anyways y'all have been really debating on doing this daggone video and universe is like yes you're going to do it and you're going to do it correctly and you're going to do it in your highest form i'm like okay the video is uh uh twin flame 101 hey elka is the supply discards yourself from the narcissist it's true you have to be able to discard yourself from the narcissist you know they're not you always hear it like if you're on that vibration of really seeing if you're dealing with a narcissist there's different people was it mental health you know dusty Thank you for sitting up here telling me about that uh, female. I don't know. I, I didn't get a chance to really watch her videos, but I'm going to go back and watch that. It's like, because um, I know, what is it, mental health? It was a guy who was a narcissist. And, you know, he has been, I mean, I've been so proud of that dude because you don't find too many narcissists to say, you know what, I was a narcissist to my wife and, you know, I went through this and I had to go through therapy. You know, you were one of those ones that you got put in that position to be able to show you can actually be a, a narcissist and you can really heal yourself from being an ex nar I used to be a formal narcissist. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you know, it'll be different things like that. Because I didn't think that was possible for people to be a narcissist and actually admit they were. And then here, these are the things you need to look for. You know, you deal with people that uh, are very, it, it's like they're bipolar. You know, they got very serious mental issues where it comes from abandonment and neglect, mommy issues, daddy neglect issues, or somebody who really loved them. And, you know, just straight dog them, cheat on them, whatever. So they feel like every person is like that. You know, um, I, you know, I had to really realize, you know, when people are in that vibe saying, you know, how does this person be able to love me? Every person lie. Every person cheats. You know, every woman or male is a whore or this is all they want is money. You know, you have that mindset to where you don't realize you're already allowing yourself to not actually be in no healthy relationship, even with yourself. You had to be able to understand that. And I had to be in that vibration where, you know, I had to be able to admit and come clean and be very transparent. I had narcissistic traits. I was very toxic. I used to be codependent. You know, hey, we get in trouble, Bond. Let's, let's, uh, you know, what you doing at 10 o'clock? You know, be one of those vibes. <laughs> and it had to be at that point where I don't like trauma bonding. If it's not based on, based on motivation of becoming better, being the best version of yourself, how to grow, how to make yourself more transparent than you were before. You know, whatever your weakness was yesterday is going to be your power of strength today. I don't want to be involved in that. And for me to be able to do that and be with a person I had to understand and being able to disconnect and say, be honest, that person just refused to heal. You know, some people are just loving to be a part of being miserable. You know, they love being chaotic, not just with themselves, with other people around them. They don't want to be around. They hate anybody that challenges them to become better. And that was me. I, I didn't I didn't enable him anymore. I wasn't allowing him to get, oh, he was just being in his feelings today or, you know, uh, I, I would not be in my power. And even though I, you know, I used to tell y'all, don't allow people to trigger you that's trying to be triggered. You know, anything that you're moving into your life is in a positive way. People that refuse to do that, your light is irritating their demons. So they will do different things. And it's just like, you know, I've told y'all and I had to be able to learn you can't be like that all the time you have to be able to stand up for yourself because you know there'll be different times where I say okay you know for example he you know I'm, I'm a clean freak I love my house to smell good and stuff like that he would intentionally make sure he don't get anything that makes the house smell good he will add more funk into the house and stuff like that blah 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 you know I ain't getting into that but 
it'll be different things where I would just allow myself to go around it and not say anything. And it would be at that point like you gonna have to stand up for yourself. And standing up for yourself don't mean you have to be combative. You have to cuss somebody out. You gotta lay hands and just sit up here and say, hey, you know, I know what you're doing. You know, uh, whatever the, the situation is, like I'm not gonna play this game with you. If you wanna play it, you can play by yourself. And you can be very straight assertive, you know, but be very, you know, there you you can be in your point where you're saying what you need to say and say what you, you like I said what I said but code your boundaries up if you know you're dealing with a person that is comfortable with misunderstanding you you already know they're gonna bring drama and karma all towards you drama of karma all towards your way to be able to start a, a argument because the fact is that feels like they can be able to help hold control over you Anybody who doesn't have control over their actions and their and, and the way they see things and how they speak and their emotions try to control everybody else's outcome, you know, and they don't like it when you're speaking in your power. They don't like it when you're allowing yourself to not let what other people are doing to consume you on not becoming better. You know, those are the things that's trying to make you become better. They're, you're showing you where you can see, oh, this person is being bitter or this person is projecting within their fear and their insecurities. That person is really terrified of you. And it'll be just some times where I'm like, if these people are supposed to be terrified of me, why do they keep pissing me off if they really know? Do you really want me to show you what I can truly do? You don't want me stepping out of that box of being ignorant. <laughs> you know, and it'll be like that because they, they fear what you become. They fear the fact is that you keep regenerating yourself. You keep reviving yourself. You become empowered. You sit back. You don't let people know what the right... You never expose your next steps to people, especially people that don't want to see you in your come up, don't want to see you in your vibe. You had to be around those people where you see, you see people that this shows experience on how they dry hate on you. You know, they constantly throw in shade or, oh, I'm just joking that or they say something very insulting and put LOL on the back of it. You know, and it'll be those different things. It'll be different where you're saying, oh, you know, I speak my truth. You know, I will never have no problem with you know speaking my truth I don't bite my tongue and I say lol and I mean just that boy if I'm doing something where it's low level where I'm being patronizing or I'm being passive aggressive or being straight passive I'm being toxic I'm being very projective you know I, I don't have to deal with stuff like that and I had to be able to even see not just from him but how my ways need to be changed you know this is the supply this is where that supply had to be discarded and you had to be able to say you want to become a better person you're going to have to think better you're going to have to speak better you're going to be able to have to see better this experience is helping you become a person to where you love yourself you're not going to allow whatever kind of people are trying to intimidate you to make you lose your grip on reality of what you're trying to create you know when people don't when they can't be a part of that dream and that part of that process of that outcome they don't want to be a part of the process not realizing you being a part of the process is going to show if you deserve it of being a part of that outcome. If you are trying to do everything you possibly can to disrupt that, all I know is if I know if I can believe in myself and say, oh, this is going to become better for me. This situation is teaching me to be a stronger person. There's nothing that person can do to intimidate me. There's nothing that person can do to stop me. This is only making me become better. This is only making me you know grow in a better place this is the situation that's making me very headstrong on being very disciplined within myself and that all it takes is discipline to be able to do that i'm not going to allow this person's uh insecurities on how they try to manipulate me and try to tear down my boundaries then they don't like it when i keep my boundaries up because that messes with their intimidation they don't like that i had to be able to understand that he does not like it when i stand in my power you know, he does not like that when I hold him accountable for his actions or I'm just not going to, um, you know, he wants, he wants to be around people to en enable him. And I used to be an enabler. You know, we used to trauma bond, toxic bond, you know, and it's like, oh, there used to be love there or it'll be different things where, you know, he'll try to make me jealous on different things like, oh, I love that person. It's just like, and I would laugh, you know, and before that used to really hurt me like, oh my God, how can he love somebody else? I used to do this and this and that. Now to be able to understand when people like that, they don't love themselves. Anybody, they use that love word, they're using that to, you know, manipulate that person. I'm thinking, I love you, but this is how my love language works. That you have to understand that anything that goes with lying and getting constantly caught that you, you know, you're, you're dealing with a pathological liar, a person that's very toxic, this and this and this and that. 
they will use any and everything to make it seem like this is how love language is supposed to work. No, that's trauma bonding. That's toxic bonding. That's soul ties of soul knots. You know, there's, there's karmic cycles where you have to really truly break. You're not just breaking generational cycles. You're general. You know, you you're breaking old you cycles. What you no longer can do cycles. Anything that is negative, low level frequency, you know, uh, anything, anything that's negative in, in its vibrations is very low. That's something that's like, if you want better into your life, you can't keep doing that. And God will set like, like you, whatever is going against you is resisting, hating on you, doing whatever. You are becoming their lesson. Okay. You're, you're becoming their lesson because you're showing no matter what you put place on my life, I got the power to be able to walk away. And then I have to have that discipline to know not to bring me back. You want me to you want to put me in situations where it wants me to go backwards. Baby, I'm going frontwards. I'm not, you know, I'm not seasons. You know, I'm not going to fall back. You know, I go through different seasons, but I'm not that season of where it says spring forward and fall back. I'm the spring forward. I'm not going back. I'm not a clock. You know, I look at my situations from my past and say I'm truly grateful because I can't became better. My past helped me become better. My toxic people and my life helped me become better. And I had to be able, this is how you disconnect from being that supply. And when you're doing that, like I'm disciplining myself. And there's sometimes universe will place me in situations where it's like, oh, this person really want me to lay hands, huh? Or they really want me to come out my power. These are the people who will do any and everything to make you. Put your guard down. Like, come on, take your guard down a little bit. You ain't got to be so guarded. Yes, the heck I do, especially around people like you. <laughs> yes, I do. You know, be different things where you try to run away from situations like that. And it always makes you get right back to square one. It's like a ground heart day. It ain't a happy birthday. It's a happy death day. The happy death day of what you can no longer be. Anybody ever heard that movie, Happy Death Day? And you've seen the first one. I ain't seen the second one because that mess kind of got kind of crazy for me. But it was like... She kept on going in that loop till she can find out what is she doing wrong. What does she keep? What does she got her wrong? She get it right. And that's basically what we go through in life. That was a happy death day. Is that we, well, you know, not all of us got somebody trying to kill us, but I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was like, damn, bronze and that is really like your life. But it would be different situations where you're, you're seeing what is it you need to correct. Until you, you know, you have to be able to see. You are responsible for how long you allow your hurt to haunt you. I had to be that person to be able to tell myself, like, damn, that goes deep. Touche, 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 roulette. You know, and it'll be one of those different things. As soon as I said that my dad will know, tip my nose, start itching like that. I had to be at that point, like, how long are you going to allow what hurt you haunt you? You have to allow what hurt you haunt you to heal you. That's what you had to put that extra on there, that healing process. And this is what we're doing. This is the reason why they tell you to get in isolation because God really needs you to pay attention, really pays attention. You will see in life when you keep seeing karma happen to people because universe done told them too many times, you need to do this, you need to do that, you need to do this. And universe is like our grandparents, our family, you know, our parents. Our, you know, our spiritual uplifting parents. And there'll be those times where you have one of those parents like, don't make me come up there. Or don't make me have to, you know, don't make me come in there and make you do it. Because if I make you do it, it's, you think you're going through some mess now. This is going to really do it. And I notice how, um, excuse me, I notice how when you go through things, the more you, you, you ignore the issue it becomes a greater problem people you know I've seen how situations where people would keep on going in that loop of trying to trigger me trying to hurt me because they feel like this is going to keep me from my blessings not realizing you can't keep me from my blessings you can't that's one thing you cannot do you're only helping me achieve them a lot quicker that's what you're doing because you're helping me see what what is still a weakness to me, what still angers me, what still irritates me, where I need to see where healing needs to take place, where I see, need to see where patience needs to uh, uh, undergo, uh, uh, you know, goes a uh, uh, huge transformation. Having a deeper understanding why is this taking place in my life? It's not happening to you. It's trying to teach you. It's trying, you know, it, it's happening for you. And these are the changes it's going through that can be a whole pain in your butt. And this is what you're doing. You're taking yourself back from being a supply. 
you know the supply is any and up where it's discarding you know the narcissist you know like i said before i've watched a lot of videos it's like how do they discard the supply why do they discard the supply you have to understand it's like with narcissists they don't heal they just change they just change people when you you can't only can change patterns so much with a person where they start seeing your habits and when you start seeing the habits and start calling them out on it and not be that person where you oh i can't let that person go yes you can regardless if they don't let you go you can let go of them and being able to appreciate that a lot of times we can be in situations like that it will make you feel like there's no love out there every person is like that and it's like no you had to really show where you had to really experience what love isn't what i can no longer keep on allowing i had to go be able to see what is the weaknesses they keep projecting on me control manipulations insecurities you know where they, where they get empowered by trying to bring me down you know, this is something where it, you can't keep blaming yourself for other people's shortcomings in their life. You know, a lot of people, and I remember I heard this on one video, and I mean, I was totally rocking with sis when she said that. And when I, ooh, what I'm about to say is like so many people can go through stuff. And, it, and I mean, when I tell you I was in that rah rah moment, and I'm like, yes, power to the people. Anybody who went through that, people give that little fake weak ass excuse oh i've been through this and this and this and that and this is the reason why i'm like that so you're cutting on i mean you're bleeding on people they didn't even cut you there's a lot of us that went through stuff and there's a lot of people that tend to use that as an excuse to treat people poorly that is a poor excuse i don't care what you went through i don't went through hell and high water where i've seen the worst of the worst where i've seen my family stab me from every direction they possibly could and i still got back up like freddy krueger michael myers and i, well, I don't want to say michael myers because if you've seen halloween ends uh <laughs> he didn't make it finally but it'll be one of those things where i kept regenerating kept regenerating i'm allowing people to see my scars and show this is how i healed that you know and I kept doing that and it angers the hell out of them that I keep going. I'm not giving up. Just like you ain't giving up tearing me down and you ain't giving up and try to keep your little secret secret because you already know where it's going to take you to. I'm going to keep going. I'm not giving up on what I know is mine. I'm not going to keep fighting for my truth to where I'm going to allow that to shine and that really make a bigger person out of me. I had to go through this purpose for a purpose. I have been placed on a platform for me to be able to tell people this is what I went through. This is how I'm living. This is how I'm overcoming. This is what I'm fighting with. This is what, you know, I'm winning that battle. You know, you deal with a lot of different things that you don't tell people about. You can be going through the harshest things where you are being neglected in every way possible. But you are being that person that constantly shows support. That is a lot of, that's strength right there. Because if you don't, you know, it was at a point where... I was always trying to get approval out of my family or I'm trying to be approval of being, oh, why, why can't you be proud of me like you're so proud of other people? And it's just, it had nothing to do with you. They see there is a light in you that really disturbs the heck out of you. So it's hard for you to be proud of something that you envy. It's hard for you to speak good about something that you hate when it comes to, you don't hate that person. You hate about what's in yourself. There is something about you that that person really envies I envy that person no matter how much I knock them down they find some kind of powerful way to get back up even though how much I try to corrupt their mind and hurt their heart to be able to corrupt their soul they still try to show kind of love and patience and kindness not to just me but other people or it's no so much that I can spit on some per person to the person just like you know the worst thing you can do is ignore a narcissist they do not like that and when I act like I don't see, I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go again. And I will, you know, it, I could be in here laughing or even making a video. It will irritate the hell out of them when I do that. Because it's like how all the stuff that we're doing to her, she still has room to laugh. She still has, even though life has not been good to her, she still ha finds her way up to adjust. This is my bounce back moment, baby. This is what happens. You know, I'm your lesson like you are mine. You can you show people that are weak, that are wounded, that are choosing to bleed and, and, and project on different people because they downright refuse to heal. You're showing them no matter what you project on me, I'm going to still become better. You're helping me become better. And you become a greatest. They become your greatest lesson as you become theirs. If they fear the heck out of you, 
You know, like I tell people, your enemies are your greatest motivators. They're, they're just your fans of denial. You know, they have faith in you. That's why they try so hard to block every blessing that you have. They try to convince you and manipulate you in ways to make you self-sabotage yourself from your blessings. As soon as I got ready to say that, I was like, oh, don't, nope, don't say that. It is true. It is true. They do that because they see good things coming for you. And it has to be at that point. When are you going to allow that to let go? You see that that person is just downright refused to heal. They think being a victim and playing a victim gets them more attention. It gets them more, you know, somebody loving them. You know, it, it discards them from enabling them to be able to get that tough love. I give tough love to him. I give tough love to, you know, my mom's ex and their family. You know, I, I don't even, I, I don't even know that family, so it really don't bother me, you know. And it'll be those different things where I have to say, you know, I know you're watching. Thank you. Anybody who has stood, try to stand in my way to do everything you have by trying to assassinate my character. Hell, assassinate me. You know, try to do everything you could to place doubt in my life. You place cloaking spells to make sure I get no views or little views or different people so they won't hear my truth because it really projects power. It really helps other people grow or it can really show that people really relate to you. I say thank you. You have really helped me become a better person. Because I know a lot of my family members watch my videos. I know my, my karmic watches my videos. People that I used to connect with strongly that don't like me because of my truth. And, you know, something with their ego or whatever. But I still wish you well. And other people that they tell me to stop doing that wish, whatever, I wish you whatever God feels like you deserve. You know, and I had to be at that point. You know, not allowing myself to bitter myself because I become them. You know, I really become them. And it's like, stop allowing yourself to become bitter on trying to be hateful towards them because you're doing exactly what they wanted you to do. You're being in your universal love language. If they want to be in that low vibration, I don't translate that. I don't translate negativity like that. Now, I can say what I can say. I can be very aggressive with my words and be positive at the same time I can really get to that point and really oh they weren't expecting that you know and I can tell someone I, I can really cut you with my words I ain't gotta you know you know I can shank the heck out of you with my words and not say something to below yourself but just because you contradicted yourself thinking you won't come at me like that I, I can always come back at you you know even my silence is the most greatest response you know your power shows in your power of silence you know Especially when you when you dealing with a narcissist that moves through things just to get a reaction out of you, and I, you're not gonna react. I did. No, you didn't. You didn't do anything. You didn't say that was my reaction. You're looking for that, so I'm not gonna give you what you're looking for. If you're trying to disrespect me, I can say what I gotta say without having to be compatible with you. I can say what that truth is you eagerly need to hear, because you need to hear that. I speak truth, and they don't like that. You know, that becomes very, that becomes a very bad problem for them. But then it's just like, I have to be able to say, I appreciate everybody that was sent. You know, I really appreciate the people that still, you know, know my situation and don't treat me different. You know, because I tell people really hard, when you know who I am, you know who I'm related to, it's hard to keep friends. Either people don't understand the things that, that is really going on with you, you know, and it'll be times where, I will get pissed off about that and I'm like you really don't understand I'm not trying to say my life is better than yours but coming from a situation like this where people don't want to see you breathing people don't want to see nothing good happen to you they want you to fall they want you to fall and not get back up so I can't be friends with you if you keep trying to find these different ways to try to tell me you're around that when it is it, no way you just have to cut everything off when it comes to your family. It comes to people where I had to just cut them off because either you didn't understand me or you start projecting your insecurities and ego on me. It's like I, you, you're acting like I made a choice on whose sperm I came out of, whose egg I attached to. That has nothing to do with me. I'm just, hey, I, I, I didn't choose that. It chose me. You know, well, actually, no, they say I did that. But you have to get mad at me when I first made that choice. You know, at, at that beginning of life where I first made that choice. But all I can do is live my life and see how the best I can live it. You know, and that may become a problem for a lot of people when I choose to stand in my power. Move through truth. You know, not worrying about 
trying to receive external validation on seeing if I'm being well liked or not or if somebody's believing me or you know the harshful lies that people you know want to do and assassinate my character I have to live for me I have to be able to understand I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea but I'm my whole flavor you know I'm that chi it's like you want to be chai or chi today I don't know but I, whatever it is I'm gonna love it you know I had to be at that point I love myself I know I matter to myself. I know there's out there's people out there that's really going to get admired by the things that I'm being open and saying, this is what I went through. This is my life. I went through constant setbacks. I went through a lot of failures. But I never allowed that to stop me. There's so many times I wanted to give up. There's so many times I wanted to give the enemy and the devil what they wanted, and I refused to. I really refused to. But I'm mostly grateful for my enemies because it allowed me to show everything where I see how they move in life. It allowed me to say, I don't want to move like you. I can see where insecurities, hurt, pain has really made me make very poor choices in my life to where you're starting to see it on my outer shell. You're seeing how I'm beating my own self up because I'm seeing how karma is hitting me from like I can't bob and weave that. You can't marry weather that. You can't wholly feel that, you know. Uh, you can't De La Hoya that you know this is my, my you know my my, my, my timeline <laughs> you know I can't do that whoever the greatest fighter is at that time USV whatever I you you can't dodge that and I had to see where I cleared my karma I cleared my debt I, I can't do that for you you have to want to do that for you but you're not going to destroy my life you can't block me on something I'm gonna keep I'm gonna if I gotta move through you I'm gonna move through you either you gonna step aside or I'm gonna move through you whole point that's on period you know and I had to be at that point in my life where I'm going to be that supply that discards the narcissist not from the one I dated and I you know I was crazy enough to have a baby with but I'm talking about all the ones that I had in my life if you are there for me you're there for me hey we we, we solid like that you know and if you just really can't understand me I, I'll let you not understand me and be okay with that too but you have to understand if I know you can't understand me, I just can't be a part of that life no more but I still wish you well you know when my enemies that you constantly keep doing stuff I say I can't wish you well but I'm gonna give you whatever God feel like you deserve you know but I'm still gonna go about my life but the main thing is I'm gonna forgive you but also appreciate you were the blessing in my life I never knew I needed and you're going to do that with your own life as well. You're going to see different things where people have done everything to make you want to snatch their soul out and just show them beating. You know, it's like, this is your soul. This is your heart. You made me snatch it out. But it's at that point, don't do that. That's what the devil hoping you would do. You know how many times, I promise you, I'm, I'm, that, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that hood chick. You know what I'm saying? I can make points matter with the fist that I throw. And it would be that point. I'm not telling you I'm the biggest, baddest person in the world, but you ain't going to catch me like that. I've been in situations where I've been, you know, I had, you know, only way you, you, only way you beat me is if you snuck me, and I had to be in those. I only been in two fights where I had got snuck like that, and it, you, you, I mean, you got an ass whooping that day, but it was just the fact is, I, uh, uh, mm, mm, on that type of person, I want you to see it coming, you know, and be at that. If I had to be at that point, but it's just like I'm no longer allowing somebody. I had to retort that too. That was a little egotistical of me, and I apologize. But it had to be at a point where I'm no longer allowing people to pull me out my character. You are not worth my peace. You have to be able to do that. They are not worth your peace. Dealing with them is going to keep you from your blessings. And that's exactly what they want to do. If they know they can't be a part of that, they have no problem with helping you discarding your own. You staying focused on them like they stay focused on you will keep you from a lot of blessings. So no matter what they're doing, stay focused. Keep your eyes on your prize. They are doing the same thing, okay? But you're doing yours for different reasons. You want to get to it. They're trying to see if I can't be a part of it, I'm going to make sure they don't get a hold of it. So, you know, what? choose your choose your friends wisely. Choose your lovers wisely. But different, cho definitely choose your battles wisely. A lot of times you have to see folks are just at war with themselves. Just because you had to be that type of person, put that shield up. They, you know, I read this this post today. Where's the empath insight? When you are dealing with large crowds or uncomfortable, heavy situations, you imagine a whole purple bubble around you to where whatever those folks are trying to project towards you. And as soon as I felt that, there was a chill. Oh Jesus! 
when you do that imagine that and imagine whatever you're trying to say and do your actions is not going to penetrate my peace you have to be able to do that use you know use those mantras uh, my, what do they call it mantras I think that's how you pronounce it where you can sit like this for 15 minutes daily do it as many times as you need to to where you can get into that positive you know, and I'm not pulling out. I don't know, you know if that's like a crip side or whatever, but I ain't trying to do that. But this is a this is a love language to me, peace language. You know, I had to be very, 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 very strict and disciplined with myself. Like, you deserve this, girl. Whatever you got coming towards you is worth it. You have earned it. And you see people know that you do. That's why they're trying so hard to make sure that they, if they know they ain't going to be a part of that. They messed up. They see you you were their blessing. A lot of people, your karma is, you know, a lot of time we worry about narcissists getting their karma. You walking away, you are the karma. They're gonna have to see you happy. They're gonna have to see you do an upgrade that they're not gonna be a part of. They're gonna have to sit in a whole lifetime of regret saying this is that person I shouldn't have hurt. But I'm just like when it comes to that song remind me of what Adele had, send my love to the next love. And I told, just like I told my ex, this if this don't sit up here and give you a whole new reflection of transformation, baby, I really don't know what it is. You, I'm going to send my love to that next love. You see how you did me? You see how you missed a whole blessing on what was sent to make your life better? Okay. Do what you needed to do. And you see how you lost me. You see how you are going to see me become blessed. I'm going to be able to have the greatest in life because I worked hard for that and damn it, I earned it. Ain't none of y'all enemies going to keep me from that. Nothing. No love spell, no karmic spell, no confusion spell, no cloaking spell. Whatever spells you're trying to get to, you already done got ripped through your goddamn powers again. You you really testing God. And I, from what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing, what karma about to do on that smackdown, they got their hand like that. I don't want to be in your position. So God ain't got to keep telling me that. I used to be hard headed and, you know, get to that point where, you know, it'll be a situation. And you already know what I'm talking about. If you were that person, like back in the day, like when I used to be in military, my mom's ex was military. And there'll be times where I see a whole group of my kids, my friends outside playing until the lights came on outside. You already know how it is. When the lights come on, your butt better be heading in that house or you better be in there before the lights come on. You you would be in that point of like, okay, fine. I got to be up in here. That's fine. You know, and then you got to go out there and you see all your friends out there playing. And that will hurt your soul worse than anything. No, you can't go outside. Remember, I told you, you on punishment until next weekend. You can't go outside. They can't come over here. You can't go over there. Unless, you know, unless I was, you know, I used to get babysitted by my next door neighbor. That's the only way you're going to be around them. And then I'm going to tell them that you can't go outside. Okay, that's how that's going to be. That's the worst thing that you can do with a narcissist is it because you they made your life, they help you make your life become greater because they showed you everything and what love is not. How you should be not be treated. What do you not deserve? So when you're dealing with situations like that, that's why a lot of times we feel like, oh, I wish I never dealt with a person like that. Oh, I wish this never happened. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. When I tell you that that man became the best blessing in my life, because I'll tell people real quick what I'm not going to deal with, what I'm not going to accept, what I'm not going to condone or, can, you know, uh, commune to whatever. I'm not going to do that. Or I start, I'm not, I, I stop getting comfortable collecting red flags. Those big no-nos. It's like no-no in the boo-boo. It's just like, yeah, that's an ex. That's an experience I will never do again. I used to take that to that point where I tell people, if somebody cheats on you, they better have fireworks coming out of each and everything that they pleasure you with. Or they better have a better mindset than you. Because if you step out on me and that you know you better be upgrading, that person better be way better than me. Because if not, you are never coming back again. I get that man too many daggone chances. Anytime you keep, you know, accepting that, that Apollo lie. And yeah, that's why I said that one a relationship, that's a situation ship. That Apollo lie, the less respect they're going to keep having for you. Okay, because they already know what moves you make, you know. And I think of my situation, like I see Chloe and uh, with, uh, Trast and Tristan, you know, his situation. And I see so much of what I used to deal with. And I used to hurt, I said, she going to have to learn the hard way, ain't she? You know, I've seen situations like, and it will be different because I felt bad for her and to a certain extent. And I'm going to say the reason why I felt bad for her to a certain extent, because I know that has to be embarrassing 
and see your man doing all this little extra stuff to get you back. And I mean, you were his little pet project. I was his pet project. Let me see what I can do to go ahead and woo her to make her feel like I changed. Number one, no person can change overnight. That's a process. You got to trust that. And it ain't. And to a person like, look, you really love me? You're going to have to trust. The fact is, when I tell you I'm not going to be bothered with you, if I decide to give you a choice, you're going to have to show me you changed. And that ain't going to happen in a couple of days. It ain't going to happen a week. No, this going to have to be some change. But then, when I tell you I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to be bothered. Don't think, oh, they must be missing me. No, baby, they're trying to make sure that you don't get access to anybody else that's going to treat you better. They ain't missing you. they just trying to block you from anything that's going to be better than them. They know they ain't good. They know that. They just don't want you to figure that out. And they don't want you to see that, oh, somebody can actually treat you better. And that's what I said. I know, you, you know, I already know what I'm looking for. Before, I didn't know what I was looking for in a relationship. And it got to that point when I seen what Chloe and, and Tristan was going through. I said, I like the Chloe that had before. Like, when she seen somebody cheated on her, she was like, uh, I ain't about to deal with all that. And then when she went through the mess with Lamar and then went through that mess with Tristan. And it was like, you know... And it's no disrespect towards her or anything like that, regardless on how people feel about the Kardashians. But it was like, when you were thicker, you know, when, when you had more of those insecurities, you didn't play that field. But then it was like, you know, people start saying, you know, y'all were known for breaking girl code. So maybe this is that situation where when you when you had friends and you start, you broke girl, girl code by stealing people men. Or, you know, you, you dated people that your friends dated you know that's a big no no you don't do that and it, it'll be at that point where you'll start being you'll change the hot seat now you'll start seeing and feeling what that other what you put your friends through because i say i guarantee you i used to look at this i say i know trina and uh lauren london and all them whoever they don't sit up here and took their man and did this and that they laughing their ass off of her you know and it'll be at that point but now i got to that point where i don't even feel sorry for her because you keep taking this dude back and that was like even people like rosin i stopped feeling sorry for you because you kept taking that back you know, they were so used to you always being that bounce back. Like, oh, I can do whatever I want to to that person. And they're still going to take me back. I can sit up here and boo-hoo and cry and say, I can't live without you. I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. All that. You know, I used to have to hear those. And I'm like, look, you have to understand, you were okay before me. And you're going to definitely be okay after me. You can't live without me. Boy, am I, I'm not oxygen. You are not oxygen to me. I, I breathe just fine. You know, just like I was saying about that, Adele. Adele had a song, and I was like, why do I love this song? It's just, like, really hitting spots for me. Why am I loving this song? And I had to go look at the backstory. And when I said, because anytime I went through stuff and I chose me over that, I chose me over this relationship, this toxic toxic situationship. This song, New Love, Give My Love to the Next Love. Anybody ever heard that song? And it was like, she was ready. That person wasn't. And I had to be able to understand this person never had intentions on doing me right he was only trying to keep me away from finding better because he knew i was a good person he knew i had a good backbone i had good structure you know but it was just me being in my weakness of feeling like this is all i deserve this is all i'm gonna get you know and those are the different things that i was taking in my life and it was just like no you deserve better you need to find somebody who's gonna see want to see you win a person that knows your badness, your weakness, your good days, your bad days, and ain't trying to sit up here. They, all they are is trying to make life better for you. Okay? Why are you doing the same for them? You know what I'm saying? When you start putting love into yourself, it's going to start magnetizing. Whatever you're doing to yourself, it, that's what's going to be guided towards you. Because, you know, I've seen different people that say, Rousing, I want to be, I want to be with my twin flame. Or, I want to be in a relationship that's built off of love. I'm tired of being with people that cheat me, cheat, cheat on me. Or, you know, disrespect me. Or, you know, popping out, having babies on me and all that stuff. And I say you have to understand through that, that process, only way for that to happen is to be by yourself for a while. That is very, it can be very uncomfortable. You know, you would, who would not want to be having Mr. Perfect or Miss, Mrs. Perfect, Mr. Right, Mrs. Right laying next to them. But for that to happen, you have to see why you had to go through those certain things you did with your relationships. And it's not always love relationships. It can be even free, free you know, uh, you know, uh, casual friendship. That's what I meant to say. You know, you going through these different things and it's showing you what you cannot keep catering to. What you have to allow yourself to put a, a boundary up. 
when you have to understand what is shade being thrown at you or you having a friend or a person if you dating somebody that is not your competition if that person cannot stand to see you win that person is going to invest on making seeing you constantly lose. If that person is doing everything they possibly can, they lost everything in life, they have no problem with helping you doing it too. You want to achieve better, that's going to be something that you're going to have to let go of. And But when you, when you step back, I had to be able to, like, don't resent that man, don't regret anything that man did to you because he showed you. And let me stop, karmic, and, and real men don't be doing that stuff. And I ain't trying to hit low, but I'm just saying, real men do not do the stuff that he was doing. But it was at that point where I had to really respect that because you showed me everything that I did not want in life. You know, it's easy to say, and I felt like it was easy for me to forgive my mom's family. You know, my mom's, ooh, that wasn't my mom's family. My mom's ex-husband and his wife and her family because I didn't have to see them every day. I wasn't up under the same roof because if it was, baby, I'd be, uh, I'd be Jersey body snatcher. I'd be collecting bodies right about then. But... It was hard for me. When you deal with somebody, you got to see day in and day out. You see them at good times. You see them at their bad times. And still look at that person like, I don't want you. You are nothing that I want in life. That's where, I, this is how you truly know. This is not for you. You know, every time you're doing something, it's like, I dealt with this. I, I dated this man for 15 years. I've known him for 22. You know, and it's like, the only thing that became better in that situation was me growing, me healing, being honest about myself on what I needed to do. You know, I would tell him, hey, you know, all you got to do is, I don't want to hear that. I don't want, well, I don't want, I ain't talking about me right now, but wh when do we ever have a get a chance to talk about it? You can talk about everybody else's situation, but when somebody tell you about you, you get upset. They'll never want to hear about the wrongs that he needs to right. Never want to be truthful about the things that he closely lived in illusion. He want to try to keep you on the loop of illusion. He want to be in that illusion hamster wheel. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not going to. I had to take myself out of it. You want me to put an illusion that my life can't get any better. And I had to step out of that too. But I also had to be able to allow myself to not let, allow what he is constantly, constantly keep doing and have done to me to make me bitter. Because that's let me know. You have to get, forgive that person. Even, even though, see, enemy don't want me to talk about that. You have to forgive that person. And I mean, it can be hard like Rosalind, this person did this and that. I know that. But for you to become your peace and for you to be able to bring that person in that is deserving for you. Because a lot of times you don't realize, allow that person to feel like they done got something better when you were the best. Allow them to feel like they got that better. Okay? Hoping and praying, whatever they found over there is doing way, doing way much more than that person that you were doing for that person you're dealing with. A lot of times, that person is sitting in your life, become, making you become a better person for the next person. Allow that person to be a headache while you're working on being a blessing, not just for you, but to another person. That sh that show that that person is showing you so much what you bring to the table, you know. That, you know, because it's a lot of times when you have that goodness, they want to be able to strip that of you. You're not nothing. You're not nobody. Anybody sees your scars, they're not going to be with you. When they see who you truly are, they ain't going to want to be with you. Because they know deep in their mind, you're going to find somebody that's going to rock your world. you going to find, you know, when you have gone through hell with somebody, they're going to give you an experience to be able to find another person that's going to give you another taste of heaven. Pure heaven. Pure heaven. And that's the reason why when you are not focused on them automatically, oh, they got somebody else. Even if I did, where was that any of your business? I'll, I'll see what you do. <laughs> you don't need to be worried about what I'm doing when you got a couple of somebody's. You know, and I had to be out there and be in that way. You know, I really had to be in that way. Like, you know, whatever I'm doing and whoever has got my attention, I got my attention. I know I want better in life. So it, my attention is not on you what you're doing that whatever you're doing is not gonna make me jealous you have to be at that that time where i had to be you know not so graphic with it but it's just like what you eat don't make me use the bathroom who you climax with don't i mean who you have sex with don't make me climax what you do ain't got nothing to do with me and what i'm doing ain't got nothing to do with you you know, I'm not at that point on making anybody jealous of what I'm doing. But I already know when I stay focused on you and your your attention, that you that takes your attention away automatically. That person's going to get jealous if that's what they're looking for. And you have to be at that point. You're going to appreciate everything that person has put you through because they help you become a better person. 
any you know any villains any enemies you got in your life tell them thank you because they showed you everything that you will never want to be You're, they're showing you that you know and plus they help you exceed past what the goals you you tend to make even though because it's just like they wouldn't be trying so hard for that because they know you're succeeding they get mad when they see and i'll be looking at folks it's like I, I I guess I, I'm just I don't roll like that. But if I know if I'm trying to chomp this person down, I'm trying to make them, you know, forget their own existence. I want to make them doubt their worth, and I see that everything I'm not doing is not working. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. Cause anyway, that's gonna pretty much lead something to me. I ain't gonna be able to digest. Cause you notice a lot of people that put some stuff on you. If that mess come on them, they gonna haul shit. Oh my God, I can't. Newsflash. Don't put something on somebody else that your butt don't want to, don't, don't, don't do that. Don't give somebody a disease you do not want to catch. Okay. <laughs> because they can't, they can't handle it. They really can't. Because if that mess is like, they put, like I tell you, people will put things on that they will terrify the mess out of them if they go through that. And they will put that on you to make sure if they worry about, I want to be loved. I want to be liked. I want this attention on me. They will do everything they can to devour you devour you defame you in every kind of way possible because they need that on themselves that's a clear reflection on what takes away from them i see where people that are attached to my father uses his name and his image to be known where i'm just like do you know if anybody really sees between the lines it's like you feel like you're not relevant unless that person's name is brought into it can you just not be naturally yourself or do you always have to constantly bring his name into it i notice a lot of people do that because that lets me know that you feel like you're irrelevant. You feel like you're this low. You don't have enough, you know, spotlight into your life unless you bring up something that y'all did together or what y'all did together and all that other junk. That's the only way you can feel relevant. And it's just like you have to think better about yourself. There's a talent or there's a speciality, 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 if that ain't a word, it's going to be one today about yourself that you need to discover without having to always attach somebody's name that you already know that is in an upscale or they're seen as the elite or they're seen as the up you know a high high highlight of of a, of a celebrity because i see that a lot of times i'm just like here we go you need to say you you need your light in the limelight don't you <laughs> I'm like, okay, you need to see your life in life. You ain't going to be able to make no money or something like that without you being attached to that person. Like, this person been out your life for 30 years, and you still trying to hold on to that fact. And I just like, I'm going to pray for you. And I've been there. I, I really see that. But it has to be at that point, you know, where I had to focus on me and only me, though. You know, I had to just put that out there. Just, you know, it was just like that. Never mind. But anyways, I had to be able to do that. But just see that about yourself. You know, anybody you have to deal with that really destroyed your life is going to help you become on the greatest come up. But it has to be on your life to where you're going to see that. They can't do that. They see that. Actually, they do see that. That's the reason why they're trying to break you down. But this is at that time where you have to become better for yourself. Don't let what don't let whatever they're doing make you become better. So I hope you were able to just you know to really get something out of this video. Like I said, I had to really do this and do this right because I said I'm not gonna do this video. This is this has got me gonna put me in my feelings and I ain't trying to do. It. It's like yes, you are and you're gonna do it right. So as soon as I said that, all of a sudden my, my aura came. I don't know if y'all noticed that it got become it came really brighter for a second. But anyways, this video been too long. So much love, peace.